What's up, guys? This is this is my first video blog. I've never done none of these, uh, but this just this is just something that I'm gonna probably start doing since I get so many questions on social media about different stuff. Today's video blog is gonna be called Life's Gamble, meaning this is uh, this is a question that has been popping up, you know, from people I talk to, you know, uh, messages, etc. The reason I'm calling it Life's Gamble is because the question is. What if you're pursuing something that you want so bad? You're pursuing a goal, a dream. You're putting all these hours, all these miles, all this time. You're away from family. And it might never happen. You might never reach the top. You might never get what you want to get. Because here's the thing. People out there there's a few that take action they have a dream they take action and there's the other group they dream about it they talk about it they say one day I'm gonna do this one day I'm gonna do that and then there's a the general population they they never act on it because they're too scared too scared of the time they have to put in too scared of what if they actually make it the pressure you see, this just doesn't apply to wrestling. This applies to any job, relationship, pretty much anything that is worthwhile in this life. You see, moving away from home, moving away from my family, my mom, my brother, sister, grandparents, cousins, moving away from to pursue something that is not guaranteed, something that is not promised, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because right now, at 25 years old, I'm giving it everything I got. From weight training, to dieting, to working on promos, to being in the ring, to traveling, to taking as many opportunities as I can. So whenever I'm 40, 50, 60, 70 years old, I don't look back in my life and I say, man, what if? What if I would have worked a little hard, harder? You know, What if I would have try a little bit more what if I wouldn't have been so scared you see last time I checked we only get one shot at life one opportunity to do it right one opportunity to give it everything you got every single day from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep are you better than you were the day before you know are you doing everything in your power to become that person you see yourself that you want to be because here's the thing you can tell people I want to be this I want to be that they probably won't see it they don't see it they're like you're crazy what are you talking about once you start working and molding into that person that you have up here then people start noticing like wow you know what that's crazy I remember you two years ago etc this and that but the thing is the vision starts right here and then you start molding a day by day that's a small percentage of people this very small percentage of people that actually act on their dream. You know, the ones that just talk about it and say, yeah, you know, one day. You see, that one day might never come. What if that one day never gets here? And you leave this earth and you didn't do nothing. You didn't leave a legacy behind. You didn't become the person, the person you knew you could be. You see, I had a person ask me, hey man, you know, what if five years from now you're still in the same spot? What if five years from now you're not where you want to be? You see, I thought about it. When, when I heard that, you know, when that person asked me that question, I thought about it. And I said, you know what, I look around and I see some people that they are in the same spot they were five years ago. And deep down, you know, whoever you are, you know, if you're moving forward or you're plateaued or you're regressing, you know. So I look at them and I tell them, I know for a fact that I'm not going to be in the same spot that I am right now. Because if I'm 
if I'm in the same spot five years from now, for me that's failure. Because here's the thing, one thing that we don't get back in this life is time. The minutes, the hours, the seconds are going by and you're never getting them back. My mentality, my work ethic, showing up when others don't want to show up. Taking advantage of those opportunities, not waiting for them to knock in the door. Having all that in your bag, in your toolbox, will ensure you not to be in the safe spot five years from now. Because every year is a progression. Every year, you can become better. You see, when I go back home and uh, every three to six months and I see my family, my mom, my brother, sister, see my mom a little, you know, a little older, <laughs> a little chubbier, a little, you know, my grandparents and it's a birthday, Christmas, sometimes Thanksgiving, and you can't be there, you miss it. It kills me. And it kills me because it's, 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 it's events that I will never be able to cherish. It's events that I will never be able to spend with them. Why? Because I'm away working on something that is not promised. I'm away working on something that some people call pipe dream. I'm working on something that people say you need to get down from cloud nine because it's just crazy. It's, it's ludicrous. You see, when I think of all those things and I apply them in every gym session, every time I'm in the ring, every time I have a match, every time I travel all over the United States, I think of all those things. And for me, that fuels me. That fuels me because I don't have time to waste. I have no time to waste or take anything for granted because this, being able to wrestle, being able to work out, being able to do what you do with your family, from walking your dog, all that is a privilege. Because there's many people out there that wish they had two legs. There's many people out there that wish they could see their next birthday. They were healthy. They wish they could be healthy just to do the normal things we take for granted. You know? So for me to take take the take the foot off the gas and just ease up. So some days, you know what, I don't feel like going to the gym. Everybody has those days, you know. Everybody says, you know, I'm feel a little tired, you know, this and that. It's been a long weekend. Fuck that, man. If your goal doesn't wake you up in the morning excited, if your dream or whatever you want to call it doesn't get you up your ass every single day to do to make it better, to make sure the time you being away from your family is not in vain. You're making everything count to make them proud. To fulfill your destiny, to fulfill that dream that you say you were going to achieve. And the thing is, that mountain, that hill starts getting up steeper and steeper and steeper. And then, you know, there's some days you say, I just want to throw in the towel, man. Work is, you know, is bad. Everything's just going bad. What did I do, you know? But those are the times. Those are the times that mold you into the character that build the foundation. Build the foundation that the storms of life is not going to just push away. You're going to stand when people criticize you, when people talk about you, say lies about you. That foundation is solid. That foundation is made on rock. It's not a made on sand. Because all the trials and tribulations, everything you've been through, molded you into that person that others look for inspiration. And that for me, 
That is what I want to stand for. And that is what I stand for. Because every day is a gift. Every day is an opportunity to call your loved ones and say you love them. To work on your craft. To look at the simple things in life. And just be grateful. Be grateful that you can do them. See, maybe this video blog got a little, you know, a little deep and stuff, but I know there's people out there struggling. There's people out there that, you know, want to throw in the towel or still haven't made that decision and say, you know what, should I go for it? Should I not go for it? I'm not, like I said, I'm not just talking about wrestling. I'm talking about whatever, whatever your endeavor is in life that you want to become, that you want to pursue. My best advice is don't sit on it too long because then it might be too late. Start every single day by something small, building that, building that foundation that your monumental house is going to sit on. One day, every day, you have an opportunity to lay that brick, to build a legacy, to be remembered so other people can look at you as an inspiration and say, I want to be like that guy. I want to have that motivation. I want to have that urge to be somebody, you know. Well, you want something so bad like I do, and then you've been there and you got a little taste. I realize how hungry I am. I mean, it's not hungry. I'm starving for it. And I want to look back 10 years from now and be grateful and be proud of everything that I did. Because I know for a fact that when I look back at my life, if I make it, then good. If I don't make it, I'm going to be happy with myself because I know I gave it everything I got every single day. And the rest was subjective. It was not up to me. My part was done. I played my role. I did what I was supposed to do. And very few people in this life get to say that. Very few people. But I promised myself that that was something I was going to embark on. And that is a person I want to become. And that is a person I want to be. That there is never no what ifs. It was done. It came out this way. End of story. Thank you for watching.